and Queen back again with another video. I mean, as you guys know, we are consistent. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you're going to love it here. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so, so much for coming back. So as you guys could tell from the title of this video, today's Girl Talk video is going to be all things underwear hygiene tips. I already have a video about feminine hygiene tips, but this one is specifically about underwear hygiene it's about the do's and don'ts for underwear and taking care of your underwear and taking care of your girl downstairs so if you're interested please do stick around and enjoy the reason why i like making these videos is because i realized that you know there's some things that you think people would know but they don't know and it's because nobody told them like some people genuinely were not taught hygiene tips and that's okay because not everybody has the privilege of having an older sister or a mother or a motherly figure to guide them through these things and to teach them these things so hopefully you do pick up a thing or two from this video and i also just want to say it's okay if you don't know but it's not okay if you are fine with being ignorant you should never be ignorant you should know that there's always better and you should always be willing to do better and to know better so the first tip and this one is is something that hopefully you do know but if you don't know now you know cotton underwear truly is key guys you know like those granny panties that we look down on those are the ones that we actually should be wearing like Mind you, I love a good seamless moment. I love my thongs. I love my silk panties and all of that. I am guilty of that. But I don't wear those kind of underwears every day. My go-to and your go-to should actually be cotton underwear. And the reason being is that cotton is a very breathable material. Like, your girl downstairs, she needs to breathe. <laughs> she needs to breathe and she can't breathe through silk underwear like she really can't she will be fighting for her life huffing and puffing not being able to breathe and that's because you're not going to take those silk panties off take those silk panties off and put on a pair of cotton underwear now of course if your outfit really just doesn't allow for you to wear cotton underwear and you need to wear that seamless underwear it's okay but you need to make sure you compensate so how i like to compensate is Sometimes I just go without underwear, but that's only when I'm at home because I don't know about other people, but for me, I struggle to just go commando. I really struggle, guys. Like, even at night, I know some people sleep without underwear, and that's good for them. And that's actually very good because your girl really is supposed to breathe, but I really just... I struggle with that, so I just prefer to go commando every now and then during the day when I'm at home, and that's my second tip. You should not be wearing underwear all the time. Like, as I said before, you should let your girl downstairs breathe. And that brings me to my third tip, which is you don't have to wear panty liners every day. Like, mind you, I love me a good panty liner because sometimes I just feel like, ugh, it's so gross, like having wet underwear and, you know, your underwear not being dry especially like after a long day but mind you guys like discharge is normal in fact you're actually supposed to have discharge like if your underwear is completely dry throughout the day there's something that you need to check out like guys you need to because thing is like your girl downstairs is self-cleaning that's why there's discharge because you know she's cleaning herself so if there's no discharge she's not cleaning herself so what's going on that's why i'm saying if you don't have discharge you definitely do need to go to a doctor or to a gynecologist and have that checked out but panty liners every day no 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 for me when i know i'm about to have a very long day i will wear a panty liner but i don't wear a panty liner every day and the panty liners that i do use are the unscented ones because when you use something scented it kind of messes up with your ph balance mind you i love smelling good i love you know i love scented things but when it comes to like feminine hygiene things i found that unscented things actually work in your favor more than the scented things and that brings me to my next tip 
which is when you wash your underwear, you should not be washing your underwear with something that is scented. So the soap that you're using should not be scented. The laundry detergent that you're using should not be scented. Now I'm bringing up these two options, the soap and the laundry detergent, because first of all, when you take off those panties of yours, you're supposed to wash them. Mind you, I also like having my underwear washed in the washing machine, but that's only after I've already hand washed them. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it's extremely unladylike to have your dirty underwear just hanging around, whether it's in the laundry basket or literally anywhere. As a lady, you should not be comfortable with just having your dirty underwear laying around. Like, that's just not ladylike. Like, don't let me catch you. Don't let me catch you with dirty panties anywhere that's unladylike that is unacceptable you should always be washing your underwear as soon as you take it off as soon as you take it off and then after hand washing it you can just place it in the drawer and then when it's laundry day or when you plan on washing your panties in the washing machine that's when you can obviously throw them in the washing machine and they can get a second wash and this one is actually my favorite tip you should try and get cute underwear i know it sounds a bit silly like you know what is cute underwear gonna do but hear me out hear me out ever since i got really cute underwear and matching underwear mind you even though i know nobody's gonna see it but just having matching underwear and i wear matching underwear like all the time because it makes me feel like i have my life together like i don't know guys like i feel so good when my underwear is cute and when i'm wearing a matching bra and a matching panty i feel like I feel like those organized girlies, I feel like I'm the girl. It does wonders for my confidence. So I hope that you can try that out too. Just have your matching underwear, your cute underwear. And trust me, it's gonna do wonders for your confidence. Like you're just gonna feel cute. You're gonna feel like you have it together. You know, you know what's going on, that kind of thing. And personally, I love that for myself. And lastly, you should also be drinking water. I know this is not directly related to underwear, but it is related to that part of the body because obviously the food that you eat is going to have an impact on the smell that you have. It's going to have an impact on the discharge, the color, like literally everything. So make sure that you are drinking a lot of water. Especially for my girlies out there that like soda, I like Coke. I like coke but best believe i drink way more water than i drink coke like for every can of coke i probably have like four glasses of water to kind of like wash it out because also like feminine hygiene aside just like to be healthy like you should not be having so much sugar you should try and like you know drink water to kind of like compensate for the sugar that you have and it's the same thing with feminine hygiene like if you're not drinking water if you're always you know drinking soda you're just not <laughs> the smell won't be great you know i mean obviously a coochie is gonna smell like a coochie it's not gonna smell like flowers it's not gonna smell like roses you're not even supposed to expect it to smell like that but you can tell the difference between when the smell is normal versus when it's a little bit Mm, it's a little bit zesty so when you don't drink water it's going to be zesty and you don't want that you want it to be the normal smell the smell that lets you know that everything is okay so please drink your water drink your eight glasses of water which is like what two liters okay well i drink three liters of water love that for myself and if you can you should also drink three liters of water guys like i feel very I feel like my my functioning is very like optimal when I drink a lot of water. So please drink water. And with that being said, this marks the end of the video. I hope that it was helpful to somebody out there. And if there's some stuff that you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> now you know. Please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Until next time, this is it from the Consistent Queen, aka your big sister. Bye!